Good day guys, because today is a good day. Guess what guys, Hand 2.1.7 is now released for 6.72. I know we've been using Hand 2.1.4, we were pretty psyched about Hand being released for 6.72, but now Hand 2.1.7 is released. Uh, that is a lot of numbers I'm talking about right now, but guys, not a problem, I'll explain about that later, but for now, we're gonna go and test this out and see if this is stable enough for you to go ahead and try today. All right, enough talking, let's get trying. All right guys, so it's not the usual link we were actually using before. This is a new link. It's mohammedfade.github.io slash 67 new. But I'm gonna drop the link in the description as always. So go ahead and check the link out, load it up on your PS4 just like this, and then we're gonna take the first step. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm actually gonna try this about five times and I'm gonna show you the stability to see if it's actually stable enough so you can guys can try it. And uh, once it loads up, guys, as usual, you know, as every website does cache, there you go. It's installing the cache right now. It's going to complete in just a second, and it should be offline cached for you to try offline without the internet. Okay, so now close the browser and reopen it. So once you close it and reopen it, this is what it's going to look like. It's all ready to go. So let's go ahead and click hand. And before I do that, I'm going to go and refresh this thing. That's a quick tip I mentioned before. So just refresh it once. So, and then let's click hand, guys. Okay, first attempt loaded. That's good. And Hen is launched. And if you notice now, it's no longer Hen 2.1.4, but it is Hen 2.1.7. There you go, guys. So let's, uh, I'm going to do, as I mentioned, I am going to do it like five times. I'm just going to run a game to see if it opens up. Though the lock symbol is there, don't worry about it. It's just going to go. And yep, it loaded up. And you can see all the way down, debug settings works game all of the menus work so anyway I'm just gonna go and restart the PS4 now and go for attempt number two okay attempt number two logging in I'm sorry guys since I'm using remote play I, I can't really show you the whole login thing but anyway we're here back again and let's click on hen straightforward and it is loaded Wow I like how it's really stable every time launching hen I'm not gonna cut these parts so you guys can actually see it happening and uh, yeah, 2.1.7 loaded up again. We're using the circle. And um, yeah, guys, go to settings, scroll down, and you have the debug menu settings. Perfect. Anyway, gonna restart it again. Attempt number three. Let's do this. Okay, so as I mentioned, I can't really show you the whole boot logo thing because I'm using this one. I'm not using a capture card. So once it's logged in is when I can start sharing the screen. Okay, here we go. Just logging back in. Let's go straight to here we go, guys. Clicking hen again. And uh, yikes, this time it actually kind of kernel packed my PS4. So, you know, it was unresponsive, it was disconnected, and I had to start again. All right, uh, third attempt failed. Let's go for the fourth attempt. Straight into it. I'm gonna refresh the page as a little precaution. Wow, got a double error. Not a problem. Okay, so clicking on hen now. Fingers crossed, and it worked. Okay. So, three times, and one time it failed. So, launching hand, but you know, because it failed one time, I'm gonna make it like six times now, just to, you know, even out the ratio. Yep, debug settings are there. Okay, cool. Let's go and restart the PS4 and go for the next attempt. Okay, so I do see a lot of pop ups saying the bit, you know, the, the downloads fail, not a problem. I'm gonna click on hand, loading exploit. Oh, great, it's done. Fingers crossed, first time. Loading hand, but I get these lovely messages saying cannot download Mafia 3. That was my message of jailbreak. But I want to check the settings and it is jailbroken. Though I didn't get the whole launching hand, so I'm just kinda of rooming around. I'm just kinda of going around. Oh, okay, now it comes launching hand, which was kind of a late notification, but it was already, you know, jailbroken. Not a problem. It was jailbroken. I'm gonna test out a game. There you go. Last of Us did open up. Uh, I'm not gonna, you know, waste time with showing you the entire game and stuff. So I'm just gonna go straight back, okay, and restart. Go for the next attempt. All right, guys, loading up, and let's go straight to hen. Doing a refresh as usual. Great. Let's click on hen. Loading exploit. Wow, this is really much, you know, more stable. It just failed once, which was, you know, I, I don't know, was kind of an odd number out. And um, yeah, it, it, guys, it is working perfectly fine. So far, so great. And I'm gonna go ahead and do this just one more time. And like, yeah, just go and you know restart the PS4 one more time. Let me try this the final time. Okay, okay, here we are, back again. I'm gonna log into my user, go straight to the exploit, clicking hand. 
And guys, that is it. It is extremely stable. Now, I want to find out how it's working for you guys because I know a lot of people are using Slim and Pros and Fat and, you know, different kinds of PS4s. But guys, this is really stable for me. It did fail once, as you saw it, but out of six attempts, five of them was completely successful. Now, guys, go check this out. I'm going to drop you the link. Go check it out. Let me know how stable this is for you. Now, I'm going to be testing this again in the next few days. I was testing HEN 2.1.4. I've been getting a lot of feedback. I've been putting all my things together. I was going to make a new video, but this launched right now, so I couldn't wait to let you guys know that HEN 2.1.7 is now released. But guys, go check it out. Drop me a comment. Let me know which PS4 you're using and how successful it is and if you are facing any issues because I'm going to drop an update about this soon. However, guys, I did share some some jailbreaking tips from the previous video that I posted which is an app to USB tutorial in detail I'm just gonna play that again over here so you guys can benefit from it and see and let me know if those tips are actually working for you as well okay guys coming to the main main part that's really helpful for everyone watching this right now tips on making your jailbreak successful so here's the deal there's a lot of people using a slim ps4 some using a fat and some using a pro and I've noticed the fat has more success rates, but however, the pros are suffering the most. So guys, these are some tips that I've put across together. Thanks to all the comments, thanks to all the people who have actually mentioned this and taken your time to get back and let us know about this one. But I wanna share this along to everyone viewing this right now, okay? Some things that you can actually do. Step one, guys, step one. Make sure there's no external hard drive connected to your PS4 while you try to jailbreak. This has been a cause of jailbreak failed a few times with many people. All right, so step number two, before you try to load the exploit, make sure you hit the options button, go to refresh, so it's gonna get rid of the no system memory error on your PS4. Then it's gonna give you a better chance of jailbreaking. And these came from pro users, PS4 pro users. So if you're using a PS4 pro and you're suffering with some jailbreak failed attempts, try these steps out. So now moving on, if this still does not work, so this is other things that you can try that I've actually stressed in my other videos as well, guys. So guys, this is what you gotta do. Go ahead and delete the cache on all website data and then just switch off your PS4, make sure everything is off and then you just tap the power button. You heard a beep. You see the light come off, but it's just gonna go off. Tap it one more time, you still heard a beep. So I'm gonna tap it one more time. Okay, so you see there's no more response anymore. So when there's no more response anymore, your PS4 has no more electricity left in it, and that's a good sign. So now we're gonna plug it back in, and then we're gonna try and jailbreak again. All right guys, I really hope that video was helpful. Go check out my other videos. I am starting to drop a lot of tutorials for what you can do after you jailbreak, like an app to USB tutorial, I've done a PSN activation tutorial, and I'm gonna come up with a remote play tutorial next. So guys, let me know in the comments if you want some of the tutorials to be covered. And uh, you guys are awesome. And thanks for sticking around. Do drop it a like, drop it a subscribe, and do share with your friends whoever is jailbreaking. And happy jailbreaking, guys, and happy gaming. I will see you guys in the next video. Cheers.